All right, so today I'm unboxing the UH-1C Huey, and this is the slick first air cavalry trooper version. It's in 118 scale, made by 21st Century Toys, Ultimate Soldier. And what's really cool about this one is it actually comes with four figures. You have two crewmen here, you have a co-pilot and a pilot. And it's actually pretty rare for the 118 scale Huey because most 21st Century Toy Hueys that they made in 118 scale only came with one pilot. And then also Merit JSI made one. I think it was actually same mold as this, but they didn't include any pilots. So um, go ahead and get to the unboxing. I'm actually pretty excited about this one. All right, so underneath, we have this tape to the bottom. These are the instructions. And there's really not much to assemble, but um, most of the 21st Century Toys and Elite Force came with instructions. Just making sure you know how to put on, for example, the rocket pods correctly. The rotor hub, the tail. That's it. So I went ahead, removed, most of the wire ties, which there was like a thousand. <laughs> and they were on really well too. So I'm gonna have to work on these and get back. Look at that, it's like barbed wire. So I'll get back to the figures. So this is the rotor hub. Let's see if I get the fuselage out. Pretty solid fuselage. Has decent weight to it. Doesn't feel too heavy and also not too light. And it does come with a pilot and co-pilot there. I'll get more into detail on that later, which is really cool. They have those wire tied down too. So we'll get to the tail. comes with just this one stabilizer, I think that's what it's called, with packaging. We have a one rocket pod here. And here's the other one. And somebody said uh, these actually install backwards. I don't know if this is the model that they do, but we'll check that out in a little bit. Tail rotor. And here are the two main rotor blades. And again, they're pretty straight, just like the Black Hawk I reviewed. Um, not as flexible, so I'm probably not gonna bend them too much, but they don't feel like they're gonna break off right away. And then the only thing left, you have an accessories pack. It comes with like two stands and a helmet. There we go. Three stands and a helmet. So these stands are for the soldiers, which when I open them up, the pilots, I'll show you how to stand them up. 2000. And then it only comes with one helmet. And then there's another stand right here for the fourth pilot. Or soldier. Now we're gonna assemble the tail. All you do, this little part right here snaps into here. And that's it. Next we'll do the tail rotor. Just have this little piece right here, just snaps in right there. that and it does rotate that looks pretty cool next we'll do the rotor hub you just push it down right in there there's no certain way you do it but it also does rotate not as good but it does and now for the blades 
The way you know the top and bottom is the bottom has this little slot because they technically could go on either way. So we'll put this down and all you do, this has a hole there, just put it in here. Like that, it snaps in. Go to the other side, same thing. Like that. Definitely spins better with the blades on. Okay, so good news. The rocket pods are actually mounted upside down. Because when you install them, they go into the side like this and they're not supposed to be up here, they're supposed to be down here. Good news is, all it is is one screw that comes from right here in the center. So you just unscrew that. And you have to be careful because you have these two little tabs, one here and one here. So when you take it out, you gotta kind of wiggle it gently. There are those tabs that were in here. Then it comes off and then you just turn it around and it actually fits those two holes perfectly. So you can mount it on either side. If you want these facing forward, then you would switch them. But there we go, and you just screw back in. Okay, so to install the rocket pods, this is how it's supposed to be. You just slide it in the bottom like that, and those little tabs fit right there on the bottom. So that's how high it came from the box, which is not how they were in real life. So when I switch the other one, you're gonna have to switch sides. But now this one's lower, as you can tell. When you slide it in, now it fits like it should. Okay, so to install the other rocket pod, I already fixed this too. It's the same thing. So you're in the bottom, push it in all the way. And there you go. There's both the pods installed. And the Huey is fully assembled. Here's a little bit of a closer look. You have the cable cutters, antenna, windshield wipers, of course they don't work. You do have lights here, here, there, and there. And then of course anti-collision light right there. And the doors do open. And first let me get to this. There's the engine in there. So both doors open, all the doors open. Pretty good detail in the seats to be honest. You have the cyclic. And it does, this one does have a collective, unlike the Blackhawk I just reviewed by Elite Force. I don't know why that one didn't have the collective. Um, you can see the pedals down there. They did a pretty good job on the paint. So there's the panel. You can see some of the gauges are painted. There is no panel up top, a little disappointing, but not bad. And then the back doors. Just slide open like that. You have five seats for crew. And I like how the floor, they did good detail on that. And to close the doors, of course, you just slide it back. And it goes into a lock position. Those were installed already. The tail number. On the bottom, do you have a thing that was a hook right there? Does not move. There's the 21st inch toy, so I was looking for it. There's where it is on the rear stabilizer. Because I found some of these guys online. These are World War II soldiers. And I don't know if I'm gonna put them in there in this configuration, because I don't think I'll have enough room. But uh, this is a bar gunner, I got two bar gunners. Flamethrower, bazooka, and there's the other bar gunner. Okay, so I finally got the barbed wire, wire ties off. <laughs> As you can see, these things are aggressive. So here's the first crewman. 
and they look a little different. Um, the faces might be the same, but he does have an insignia uh, on the helmet. And this looks like the microphone cable. He has dog tags, vest, and then the arm swivel, really interesting on these. These are the older model uh, 21st century toys. They don't swivel like normal. They have like this weird, it only turns 90 degrees. And it's different color here than the forearm, the shoulder is. It's just kind of interesting, but might be just discoloration from age. There's that. The helmet, I don't know if it comes off. It doesn't feel like it, so I'm not going to pry it too hard. Same thing with the knees. <laughs> they only turn 90 degrees, so I mean, at least the hips do rotate like that, and then the shoes turn around, the feet turn around, so you can sit them. But he only goes 90 degrees like this. And then the other one, a little different. This guy, of course, looks like has a pistol and um, dog tag, something a little different. He has a little necklace right there. Everything else looks the same. His face actually looks the same too. His helmet has a little different insignia. There's an ace of spades right there, it looks like. The air, air cavalry as well. This guy also has the ace of spades, I didn't notice that. And his helmet looks like it's coming off, so let's see. Okay, so you can wiggle their helmets off. So I figured <laughs> he's got some mad chops right there. And then this other helmet, I guess if you wanted to, came in the accessories pack, you could put that on which is actually pretty cool how they had those. Usually they'd be like cigarettes or maybe a lighter right there. That's pretty cool. So that's it for the figures. As far as the crewmen go, we'll get to the co-pilot and pilot later. Oh, and I wanted to show you the stand. So the bottom of their feet, they have these little holes. You can do one here or also here. And all you do is just put them on the stand. Um, let's see if this guy goes right here. Just kind of push down. I think it only the back one, let's see like that. And if you wanted to like try to stand them up, I don't know how they, oh, it actually does stand up. So that's that. If you ever wanted to display them, it comes with that. Okay, so I got the uh, pilot and co-pilot out. This was the pilot on the right side, and this is the co-pilot on the left side. And they also have the insignia here, and ace of spades at the top right there. And as far as like, Anything else, this guy has a long knife right here. This guy has a pistol, and this guy has a pistol. It looks like they're the same. So they might be the exact same guys. I think as these, these two guys, uh, difference is, no, they look a little different. This guy looks like he has a bigger face, but these kind of look the same. What I did notice is they have different hair color. He has brown, and he has red. You can see it right there. So that's what the pilot and co-pilot look like. Okay, so I got the soldiers in. Um, this is actually the bar gunner. And then you can see flamethrower right back there. He has his little canisters. He's holding this flamethrower out ready to go. Behind him, I actually have the other crew guy that came with it. Let's flip it over to this side. So here's one of the crew guys. I have him sitting up here. He's holding one of the bar guns from the other bar gunner I have. Kind of hard to get him in position, but I like how he's sitting. And then behind him, I have a bazooka man. Let me get him out of the way. So I have bazooka infantry right there. And then the other crew guy you can see right there. He's not holding anything. Um, I don't have any extra guns, but I really like how this is set up. And of course you can see in here, we have the pilot, co-pilots reaching up for some of the controls. Scoot back over here. You can kind of see the co-pilot reaching up. Really cool. I mean, this is definitely one of my favorite, especially with the soldiers that I found in the guns. Um, yeah, so super impressed. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. It helps with my algorithm and uh, helps me keep doing this because I plan on reviewing all the 21st century toys line and 118 scale and elite force jsi merit 
anything to get my hands on. So, but they're very expensive if you aren't aware. So <laughs> if you would, please subscribe and like, and that'll help me out. And um, definitely one of my favorites. I've always been a fan of the Huey and also Vietnam era. So um, if you've served, I really appreciate it. If you're watching this video in any of the armed forces, I really appreciate it. So thank you guys. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for my next videos.